hello there. Uh, today I will uh, make a video for a mini tower case. Uh, this is the re repository uh, for mini tower case uh, OLED uh, 0.96 screen and uh, I will show you how to enable o OLED 0 0.9.6 uh, screen on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, first, uh, first of all, you need to uh, flash the image to your TF card and make sure your Raspberry Pi can access the internet. And then uh, you need to uh, turn on S2C function by using uh, sodo Raspberry uh, RESPI config and select navigate to interface options and then select i square c and press enable and select yes okay uh, after that you can check if the screen has been uh, recognized by raspberry pi we are using uh, following commands i square c detect uh, minor y space one means uh, detect uh, uh, I square C device on your I uh, on your GPIO, okay. And if you encounter command not found error, uh, uh, please install I square C minor tools uh, uh, by using uh, sudo apt update and sudo apt. Uh, minor y install i square c minor uh, tools okay and then uh, you need to install some uh, dependence libraries such as python 3 python 3 minor pipe uh, and uh, uh, python 3 minor pil means uh, you can uh, Execute some image on your screen and leave JPEG dev means uh, some JPEG uh, format uh, image can be uh, converted to your uh, hash mark or something else and other uh, dependence libraries like uh, zlib 1g and uh, lib free tab, uh, lib lcms, and lib open gp uh, to minor one and uh, minor seven, sorry, and the lib t five. Okay, you need to install this and then grant privileges to your uh, Pi user by using sudo us uh, user mode. Minor A, minor G means add this uh, user to group GPL and I square C, okay? So that Pi user can operate your GPL via uh, uh, via your scripts, okay? And uh, you need clone uh, this repository to get the examples uh, daemon code. So uh, let's uh, show you how to do that okay uh, at the very beginning you have to connect your uh, screen to your Raspberry Pi on GPIO and uh, you can follow the instru instructions menu uh, which uh, including the package okay and also you can uh, access our wiki website to get more information about that. Uh, first of all, I have connect to my Raspberry Pi um, by using SSH. So you can see my kernel version and uh, release version. I use a uh, Raspbian uh, codename Bosai 
means the latest version of Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi OS, okay? And the second, I need to uh, enable I square C function by typing sudo respi config and select to uh, navigate to interface options here and select I square C okay select enable yes all right uh, the ARM I squares interface in, is enabled and then finish. Let's do this. Once you have uh, detected your OLED screen, you can see uh, there is 3C mark here means uh, your connection is okay. If you uh, have not this uh, command or uh, your screen did not show this this address you can just uh, uh, update and install i square c tools do remember here is a s if you don't put this one, you will uh, encounter error. If you cannot un uh, connect to the uh, internet, you will see that there is temporary failure resolving the uh, domain name. So let's check my uh, DNS file by using this command uh, so I I want to use Google DNS so I will change this one to 8.8.8.8 means I will uh, resolve the domain name by using uh, Google DNS okay and also we can put this here save it and check if if it is okay all right let's do it again update and install i square c tools I have already installed i square c2 so after that you will see that the i square c2 is the latest version so you don't have to install it again okay let's you will see that i square c is already the newest version okay after that, we need to uh, uh, install the dependence libraries by using this command. Okay, let's copy and paste. All right. After you install this, I need to grant privileges to user pi by using this command. sudo user mode uh, minor a minor g gpio comma i square c pi. Okay, and I can check if pi user is under this group you can see that uh, pi user is adding to uh, has been add to uh, i square c and gpio here so and next step is to clone the rep repository from github 
uh, by using this command. git clone uh, rm who luma ex, uh, examples git, okay? Try it again. Sometimes the uh, web server is not responding. You can uh, try it one more time, okay? And you need to make sure. Uh, you get this repository from GitHub so that you can uh, light up your OLED screen. Copy it again.
Mm, maybe I need to reboot my Raspberry Pi, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, you will see that. Uh, you have receive me object and then you can see there is a folder called Luma examples uh, enter into this uh, change directory to the uh, Luma examples you can see that there is a, a examples folder our demo code will be here but you need to check what kind of uh, uh, what ver version of your Raspberry Pi uh, uh, what's a person's version you can see that Raspberry Pi has version 2.7 and also has uh, 3.9 so you can just try uh, this command uh, pip3 means use Python 3 to install uh, the dependence libraries. Uh, install minor e means uh, follow the uh, this folder's instruction to install the the libraries. And uh, don't forget the point means. Uh, local directory it means current directory okay and you will get this information about you will uh, download some uh, Luma core Luma emulator Luma LED matrix then and so on also, it will install SMBus2, means you can use a uh, Python script to control your uh, I2C device. Okay. All right. And then, CD, CD2 examples and Python3 system info.py. And then you will see some. Uh, information on your uh, OLED screen okay it's very easy to to modify this uh, uh, this scripts to fit for your needs you can use Vim or Vim Tiny tools to uh, modify this file 
and you can see that um, there is some like information uh, by you can get for example CPU usage memory usage and disk usage network interface status and uh, device status okay and you can also uh, modify this code by uh, gathering the CPU temperature or something else okay all right uh, I will make a video for this information okay at the very beginning I will uh, show you here the connection the purple one is connect to uh, ground your Raspberry Pi one this is one two three four five six number uh, P number six is ground P number one is 3.3 .3 and the yellow one is SDA the green one is SCL 3.3 .3 SDA SCL ground okay 4 pin to your uh, OLED screen and once you uh, execute this sysinfo.py uh, script you will get this information all right this is average load cpu load this is uptime this is memory this is uh, your disk state usage and this uh, wlan link zero means uh, your Wi-Fi and TX means transfer uh, data and receive data here and also you can uh, modify this information by yourself okay thanks for watching see you